the only reason why you're not confident right now. Welcome back to another video. I'm Maximilian and I help entrepreneurs empower their life. I help them rewire their minds to create that of love, joy, abundance, success, whatever it is that you want, I help you with that. So, the reason why you're not confident right now, the reason why you may be feeling that fear, that worry, that anxiety, that stress, when it comes to confidence, is one thing only. Now, it sounds simple, it sounds very simple. It's just practice, that's literally all it is. Now, don't get me wrong, it's easier said than done. To train your biceps, you must do bicep curls. To train, train your triceps, you must do tricep extensions, whatever it is. If you want to do chest, do some chest press, do some press ups, whatever it is. To train that muscle, you must use it, you must break it for it order to repair and grow stronger. Now in order to train your confidence, because confidence is a skill, it's not a trait. No one's born confident, no one's born anxious, no one's born unconfident. You are born with nothing. You are programmed. If you believe you're confident, you will be confident. Now, you're probably asking right now, how do I become confident? Very, very easily. Who is someone that you admire that has a lot of confidence? Because you can dictate who's confident and who's not confident. If I said to you right now, who is someone who is really confident? What is it about them that makes them confident? Is it the way they walk, talk, stand, smile? How their, their presence, their aura, how they, how they are as a person? Also, you look at the time that they've been doing that. Not every confident person, including myself, was confident. I was very anxious, very shy, very worried about opinions, and I wasn't a confident person at all. So it took me to understand what confidence was, which you already know what confidence is. It's just about understanding how you can become that confidence. When you start training those muscles, when you start using confidence, you can start to become confident. So here is a few little tips and tricks that I've used over the years in order to make myself a confident person. So, you're probably like me, probably like who I was. You really just don't like interacting with a lot of people. You maybe don't like calls, sales calls, even calls just in general, online video calls, meeting people, even maybe feeling awkward when you're standing there in the line and when you're um, paying for food at the, the supermarket and you're about to pay, you don't like to have those awkward conversations. That was me all the time. So you're probably asking how did I combat that? First thing I did, I started very, very simply. All I started to do was started to smile at people. Smiles are contagious. If I smile at you, you naturally smile back. If you walk past someone and you smile, they will tend to smile back. Not everyone, don't get me wrong, but the majority of people will smile back. So this is how I used it. I started smiling at people. Now this is at my gym, this, this is the way I did it. I smiled at people at my gym. Then after a few weeks of doing that, I started saying hello. That was it, I didn't start conversation, I just said hello, how are you? Then I started to progress the conversation a little bit more until I started to speak to people who I wasn't comfortable speaking to. Because the only way to step outside your comfort zone is to get uncomfortable. That's why it's the comfort zone. Confidence, if you're not a confident person, or were not a confident person before this video, you have to step outside that old comfort zone. You have to step into the new. The new is scary, the new is uncertain. We don't know what the new is gonna bring, it's unfamiliar. So our body will naturally retreat back to the familiar, which is, oh, I'll just stay worried and anxious because it's safer for me here. Your mind thinks it's doing the right thing for you, but it's just doing what is protecting you. It will protect you from outer threats. A conversation isn't logically a threat. A tiger running at you, that's a threat. Run away, like be fearful by all means. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying like fight a tiger because if the tiger's running at me, I'm gone. But if there's a conversation, that's not an actual threat. All that is is just a conversation, realistically. So ask yourself that. Start doing that little tip and trick. What I used to do, start with smiling at people. Do it somewhere where you're familiar, so where you go to the gym, where you work. Just start with that, start small. Then you can start moving on to conversations. And the third and final thing, third, fourth, and final thing that I would recommend for you to do is really, really ask yourself, who is someone that I admire that is confident? Like I said earlier, who is someone that I really admire that is confident? How would they act in this situation? And another little thing that I ask myself sometimes is, what would happen 
if I don't do this? And I ask myself, what 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 is the what's the thing that could that wouldn't happen? Okay, so I may not. Let's say, for example, and the the one uh, thought that comes to me was when there was a business opportunity for me at my gym. There was a guy, and I wanted to speak to him about business. I just wanted to ask him. I wanted to um, try and get in contact with him. I said, what is the worst thing that could happen, or what 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 could I miss out on? I may miss out on a business opportunity, I may miss out on a friend, I may miss out on some success, and then I start dwe like dwelling down to, oh, and then I could lose absolutely everything. I've got to do it now. What's the best thing that could happen? I could get a business opportunity, I could become friends with this guy, I could uh, create something amazing with this guy. When you understand the negatives, that pushes you away from the negatives. When you understand the positives, that draws you to the positives. If you're working with both at the same time, you're going to speed up that process. So start using these simple, simple confidence tricks. And if you want to learn confidence on camera, I will make another video of that alone. But this is just confidence in everyday world, in everyday life, just the generic stuff. So start there, create that confidence that you deserve every single day. And don't go a day without smiling at people. One, it's nice, but two, it starts to build your confidence. And then just start saying hello. So other than that, I hope this video has given you something that you can start acting upon today to create this confidence and this change within yourself every day. I hope you keep smiling, spreading love, kindness, and positivity.